This three versus two small-sided game practice setup is a fun, high-tempo activity that will help improve your team's speed of play and counterattacks. This activity is set up within a 40 by 30 yard playing area with two large goals at each ends. Some key areas of focus within this activity will be fast tempo counterattacks, attacking and defensive transitions, back to goal and link up play, as well as third man movements and attacking runs. The drill begins with two teams along with a goalkeeper in each goal. The players on each of the teams should be set up so that each team has a group of attacking players starting on the side with the opposing team. The blue team will attack in one direction to score, while the red team attacks the opposite goal. The blue team will start in possession with a pass to a forward teammate, showing for the ball from the opposite side. Two players from the red team will join in to defend once the pass and run from the blue forward player is made. Two additional blue players will also join in to support the attack to play three versus two towards goal. When the blue forward player receives the ball and has time and space to turn facing goal, they should look to shoot and score. If there is no space to turn, then the player should try to combine with a teammate and secure possession. The type of movement and runs off the initial pass from the player whose back is to goal should be emphasized by coaches to players in order for them to learn how to create space and open up scoring opportunities. Coaches also should keep an eye out for various types of runs and reinforce the timing of when runs can and should be made as the offsides rule applies after the halfway line. Another key point coaches can emphasize with their players would be encourage them to drive to goal or at the defender with the ball to commit or further isolate them and create possible 2v1 scenarios. If the blue attacking team successfully scores, one point is rewarded to them. If the red defending team manages to regain possession, they will be allowed one transition to attack the goal and rewarded two points if they score. The three blue players are allowed to defend to prevent the transition. Play ends if the blue players regain possession or each time the ball exits play. After each round ends, the activity restarts on the opposite side now with the red team as before. There is no delay between the teams entering and exiting the playing area to keep the tempo high and activity continuous. If you would like to see more drills and activities like this, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us bring you more content like this. Leave a comment below and let us know which topics you would like to bring to you in upcoming videos.